I'm visiting my family in England, and today Amy and I will take the kids to their favorite zoo, home to over 4,000 animals. It's actually also a safari park and has some other interesting attractions. The kids love it. It's actually the biggest zoo in Britain. Amy has a membership so they can visit free. First stop, the lemurs. They are primates and native only to the island of Madagascar. They're certainly lovable creatures and named from the Latin lemures, ghosts or spirits. Apparently because of their nocturnal activity and slow movements. The young are carried on the chest for the first one or two weeks, clinging tightly to mama. Later they ride on the back, fascinating and cute. The kids thought so. Then a stroll to see the bison. European bison. Interesting. The ancient Greeks and Romans were the first to name bison in the second century. It's the heaviest wild land animal in Europe. Next up, the chimpanzees. They're not monkeys. They have big brains, long arms, no tails, and walk upright. Here, they live on an island, so we're able to get to see them clearly. Then a chance to see the birds. Every day they put on a show. Then the kids have some fun. And here's my favorite bird, a turkey. Then the goats. These are the greatest of all time. In the midst of them, a peacock.
next stop was to see the kids' favorite, not an animal, the train. Ever since they were babies, they loved trains. Here, it's actually a steam train, the Superior, over a hundred years old. One can even ride on it. Did you know trains don't have steering wheels? Then elephants, Asian elephants. They actually looked as though they were dancing. And I guess they were rescued from a circus. As usual, the kids were more interested in the train. Elephants eat up to 150 kilos of food a day. Now that looks like a circus trick. Steam trains. Next, we're gonna see the tigers and the lions and the giraffes and more trains. <laughs> <laughs> 